So, with the way that this works, you have the you have the scene that's set up on the screen here on your camera mount, and then the cameras are also capturing the camera moving around in right. the same scene. Right? right, and 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 not only is it capturing my movement, you know, it's also recording everything that I do on these uh, little controls, which right now I have assigned to um, my lensing, so I can I can change my lenses and kind of zoom in and zoom out if I'd like to. And I can, you know, act like a real camera and crane up and down. And, uh, and so I also have control of my scene. So if you imagine this to be a virtual scene, you know, where the actors never miss their marks, they're mm -hmm. always doing the right thing, they're doing it at the right time, and you can just go in there and shoot everything as many times as you want, get all the angles that you want, and record all of that. And so basically we use that so the um, directors can kind of pre-plan their shots and sequences. So you've got these 16 um, motion capture cameras and they're basically looking at the center of this volume and what they're seeing are these, are these four markers and what they do is, is they glow kind of white and so it doesn't see any of us all it sees are the markers and what it's doing is it can from there find where the camera is and its rotation so these four dots here are extrapolated from each individual camera where it's seeing the dots from the shoulder mounted camera it triangulates the position and based on the orientation of all those dots it can calculate the rotation of that camera no matter where he goes in that volume this point data is then streamed through the network we stream it over here to Motion Builder. We also have the ability to stream it to Maya. And this is the pre-animated uh, scene that the artists have previously built together based on storyboards, director input, what have you. And uh, the camera now is parented to this point data. And we are getting basically as if AJ was in this space wandering around. Right. So we, we've got what we call scaling controls here. So right now, the way this camera system is set up, every step that I walk is equal to one step in the virtual world. Now, we can also change that so that, for example, if I wanted to simulate a helicopter and kind of fly through a scene, or if I wanted to be as small as an ant, you know, kind of you know, looking up at the scene, we can just scale all those values. And it's great because, you know, right now we've got a nice size volume, but if we're, for example, at a smaller space, but I've got a virtual set that's really large, I could change that scale value and, you know, one step could equal 10 or 15 steps in the virtual world and I could still shoot effectively regardless of the size of the volume that I'm shooting in. We can scale up the, um, the world so that he now is a giant uh, crane and can move in on the building and push right into the holster on their hips if that's what we want to do, which you'd never be able to get fully on set. We can do that all right here with a, a move of the camera and some tweaks of some numbers here in a live setting. Sure. This is all pre-generated. If you look, the artists around us are building some of these scenes. Then over on this side, we load that up, and the marker just drives the camera. OK. Uh -huh. And so if, if AJ, or the director, the cinematographer over his shoulder, did say, you know what, I really like that shot, but this guy here, he's just too close to the woman. I really wanted more space, so she's in a little bit more peril. Then I can take literally a 30-second pause I can move his action over so that he does get that distance. And then 30 seconds after that, the director can reshoot. You can adjust anything. You can uh, adjust the camera. I can, if the director later comes back into the editorial bay and says, you know what, I, I know I shot this, but it's just too darn low. I, I know we can't get that in reality, or I don't know what I was thinking. I don't want to look at that angle. We can go and just tweak on top of it with the artist and turn it around without having to go back in and reshoot and save the director's time. And uh, so it's great that you get the natural and the the the, the rigidity or the the control of a, of a, a CG pipeline. Right. It's great to have both all at once.